Mia. 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 You want to come up here? Nope. Hi, my name is Allison Tiemann, and I'm the founder of Honey Badger Radio. If I can have a moment of your time, I'd like to give you an update on Honey Badger Radio's progress towards total badger saturation. Many of you have requested that I do some solo work, presenting my own writings on this particular topic, men's issues, gender dynamics, and this month I was finally able, able to deliver on that. This is entirely due to Brian being freed up to help me with a lot of the administration tasks at Honey Badger Radio. So I'd like to thank every one of you that's donated to help make this possible. Give yourselves a pat on the back. <laughs> Um, if you hadn't stepped up to help out, I would still be doing about 80 hours a week of administration work, dealing with the various shows HBR puts out, along with the patron fundraiser rewards, mail, and everything else. In fact, I didn't realize how close I was to burnout till Brian climbed aboard and took some of the weight off of my shoulders. So I'm extremely grateful to Brian for taking that weight off. And I'm so very grateful to you for supporting us financially to the point where this was possible and we could avoid a long-term Honey Badger Radio hiatus. Now I'm doing a much more manageable 50 to 60 hours a week, and a lot of those hours I can now devote to composing solo pieces and putting my thoughts into a more coherent, presentable, and shareable sort of order. So again, thank you to Brian, and thank you so much to you, our patrons, for allowing me to get off of that treadmill a bit and pace myself and not have to face the possibility of stopping Honey Badger Radio. And I will be continuing to do solo efforts now that I can put a few days a week into specifically that. And so if you're a patron or even if you're just a listener, a listening colleague, please look forward to, to more of the, the shorter, more compact, uh, less ranty works. And um, just to give you an idea, of our next financial goal, we would like to be able to compensate Mike, that is Dr. Random Ocam, so that he can leave Her Royal Majesty's service permanently and bring more of this. What, what, what? You're using me to shill? I'm your greatest detractor. How dare you use my cunning wit and perspicacity to your foul ends? Why, I haven't seen such aberrational horseplay since Aunt Winnie dug up the corpse of Machiavelli himself and made him kiss the Marquis de Sade. I won't hear of it. If I didn't have a deep suspicion of all forms of jewellery, including liars, I would be calling one up right now. This is outrageous. I can't even... To Honey Badger Radio. In addition, we also want to free up one of our behind-the-scenes contributors, who you may not know by name, but you will have seen some of his work already. His name is... Eduardo Oscar. Now, I know that I'm mangling your name, Eduardo, and I'm very sorry. I know you've tried to teach me to call you by your name, Lalo, but apparently I can't pronounce that either. Um, so, you've told me to call you Ed, so I'll do that. Ed is an incredible illustrator and animator, and we've been hoping we can free him up to contribute full-time to Honey Badger Radio, which will improve the presentation at Honey Badger Radio, and together, me and Ed are going to be making short works that are very, very shareable. So look forward to things you can show your mom, your dad, your sisters, your friends, so they can understand what this men's rights stuff is anyway. And these shorts will look like it came, like they came from a totally legit operation, not our ragtag band of artists, layabouts, writers, and badgers. So when we finally get to our next patron level, look forward to more Mike, more codger, and more great illustration and animation. Now, if you would take a moment, if you're currently listening to Honey Badger Radio, um, well, obviously you're currently listening to Honey Badger Radio, otherwise you wouldn't be listening to me right now, but if you're a, a, a listening colleague, but you're not supporting us and you're able to, could you just tell us why and what would make you comfortable donating? You, if you don't have the money, you don't have to tell us that. We understand that, we understand why. But if you do, and you're listening but you're not supporting, it would really help to know why. And you can send that information to topic at badgerpod.com. Even criticisms and your thoughts on why you don't support us is helpful to us and allows us to make continual improvements to the platform. 
and we strive to improve and create the best offering that we can because these issues are very important and they deserve our very best. And if you're already a patron, once again, as our patron reward this month, we're doing Badger Chan Lutes. Since we've started asking patrons what they'd like as a reward, Karen reading Erotica and Gilbert Godfrey voice has never won out over Badger Chan Lutes, so we're just going to go with the Lutes and ask you if there's a particular type of loot you would like. So this month, our question to you is, would you like a Badger Chan lewd parody of Tracer's pose? Or the Spider Woman pose? Or a classic pinup pose? So that's three options for your potential Badger Chan lewd. Tracer's pose, the Spider Woman pose, or the cla a classic pinup pose. Please indicate your choice in the poll on this video. And to get to the poll, you just have to hit the I and uh, located in one of the cards to the right. Right now, I'd like to talk a bit about, you know, I give an answer to our critical colleagues, because a few of you who do listen to us have been slightly critical uh, about this particular aspect. And it is why we don't have more focus on activism or lobbying. Um, the reason why is because we don't have any, we aren't professional activists or lobbyists currently. Um, nor do we have any professional activists or lobbyists current, lobbyist currently volunteering on staff. So if you're someone with a background in that and you're interested in helping us out, you can drop us a line, at, once again, topic at badgerpod.com. Um, and that, that would be really helpful because it would be great to get somebody on board who has experience organizing this kind of stuff and the drive to get it all together and make sure people have the information that they need. Um, in our case, we are artists, and our stated goal is to change the social climate. Um, Brian has a fine art degree, I have a fine art degree and a master's in design, Mike has a degree in drama, Hannah is a photographer, Karen writes fantasy fiction, and Anna is a costumer. That's to say nothing of our volunteers who are animators, illustrators, 3D modelers, uh, etc. So uh, we're all artists here. So maybe we're not what you'd expect to try and change and spearhead this change, to, make, to try to make these changes and be the spearhead to them, uh, because we're not professional activists, we're not professional lobbyists, we're not politicians, we're artists and writers. Um, but we want to change people's hearts, and maybe what's needed to do that is artists, because art is a wild card, and storytelling is a game changer. Of course, we have our facts in order, even though we're also not professional researchers, but well, we try to have our citation ducks in a row. But at the end of the day, it's art and storytelling that changes hearts. So maybe a group of artists is exactly what this world needs to make this change. And of course, we're also badgers. And there's something about the badger uh, appeals to all of us. Um, and maybe, maybe, I can, maybe I can start to explain why. I was recently watching a documentary on badgers. And in the documentary, there was a wolf pack that had recently killed a deer. And as that wolf pack was feast feasting on the fruits of the hunt, a small furry shadow lunged out from the underbrush. A single badger. Over the course of several hours, that single badger wore down the entire wolf pack until the wolf pack gave up and just left the meat to the badger. He's like, see, yeah, you can have it now. We're done. Just think about that. Wolves are not exactly pushovers in the animal kingdom. They are apex predators. They are tough, they are persistence and persistent, and they have loads of endurance. And not just that, they work as a team. And yet one badger could drive off an entire pack of wolves. One badger against an entire pack of wolves. And here's something to consider. We, that is Honey Badger Radio, is a pack of badgers. A lot of people have looked in their stats in the past and say, you should have more views and subscribers. Your, your stuff is really good, it's really interesting. Um, we don't get the big views or the subscribers numbers, but here's the thing. What we do get is badgers. You're the kind of people who, when you feel something emotionally uncomfortable, you don't necessarily lash out. You look deeper. I don't feel sorry for us. I don't feel sorry for the side that we're on, if there are sides. Because if one badger can take on a pack of wolves, what can a pack of badgers do? Badgers are independent, they're persistent, they're tenacious. And when we work together, we also have the ability to work. When we also have the ability to work together, when we can work as a team, <laughs> I don't feel sorry for us. 
I feel sorry for the people who've decided they're on the other side of us. Academia, media, government, all of the ideologues who've decided that they're on the other side of us. These people don't even have packs of wolves. They have herds of sheep. Well, I don't mean to be rude, but it's just an observation. It's people that have chosen to squander their natural drive, curiosity, and tenacity, tenacity to be a sheep. They've chosen to be a sheep. People who don't question, who just follow whatever's easiest. We have badgers. They have sheep, or people who've chosen to be sheep. And if one badger can defeat an entire pack of wolves, and one wolf can pretty much decimate an entire herd of sheep, one badger is worth, what, 10 wolves? And one, worth, one wolf is worth 100 sheep? Think about that. Think about what happens when we have a critical mass of badgers, when there are far too many people who are both independent and capable of working together who question any convenient or easy truth. Think about what happens to the world when there is a critical mass of people like that. The quote unquote other side may have the numbers, but what we have and is the badgers. And what do the mat numbers matter when one badger can take on a pack of wolves and one wolf can take on a pack of sheep? One badger can take on a thousand sheep and a pack of badgers or a set of badgers can take on what? A hundred thousand sheep? What do those numbers matter? Anyway, if you're ready to support us and support increasing the number of badgers in the world because it will be badgers and artists who bring about the changes this world needs, go to www.patreon.com slash honeybadgerradio. And even though I know you're going there right now to bring about critical badger mass, I don't think it hurts, it'll hurt to add, a, add on a little extra fun incentive. If you become a patron, you'll have access to our ever-increasing gallery of Badger Chan pinups. So whatever the, whatever the poll decides, whether it's going to be Tracer's ass, uh, Spider-Man, Woman, Spider-Woman ass, or, and it's also actually Spider-Man ass, but they just completely forget that, or a classic pinup, you'll get to see that. Um, so if you, if, you, if you just pledge as a, as a whatever amount as a patron, you'll have access to the Badger Chan pinups. And if you pledge $30 a month or $5 per episode to a max of six episodes, you'll have access to not just the Badger Chan pinups, but also the delicious, delectable, spicy, and steamy Badger Chan lewds. So once again, www.patreon.com honeybadgerradio slash honeybadgerradio. <laughs> Let's change the world one lewd at a time. One lewd badger at a time. <laughs> OK.